this time on Auto Relics, we're going to go and find a couple of barn find minis. Somewhere out here in Oxford, Cuss, Bennett, North Canterbury. So we've got two of them we're going to go and have a look at. Um, the chap's name is Dennis, really pleasant fella. Dave's been in contact with him a bit. Um, I believe he's got a, a Vauxhall there as well. Very old Vauxhall in an old shed that's falling down. It's just a classic barn find. If we get that, what I want to do later on, if we can, see if I can get one of those minis and get it running and drive it back home. Well, I'll see what happens. Your garage won't take it. That's why it's going in your garage. <laughs> I'm Dave, Pete's over there, and we're going to go and check out a couple of classic minis. What year are they? Um, I'm not sure. I think the white one is probably 1960-ish, and the other one um, would be 60s. Okay, so and how long have they been on the shed? Uh, probably 20 years. 20 years? Okay, that's good. <laughs> this is good. And they're in a shed, which is really good. And you've got another car out the back. We're going to have a look at that too. I think it's a Vauxhall. Okay. I'm not sure where it came from. It just turns up. Yeah. With a dead project. Well, I'm used to those. Oh, good. Well, let's go and have a look at them. There you go. All right. <laughs> Spare tire. There's the old battery compartment and it's not rusted out. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Got a, some mouse activity in there. Put that back in there. Wow, that's actually pretty good, isn't it? Actually, you mentioned before, Dennis, that um, is it your sister? Own one and give you own the other? Is that the no, this belonged to a friend of mine. The white one was my sister's car. Oh, right out. Okay. I can almost see the mileage. The mileage is 04845. Wow. Too bad Minnie's been low to the ground. We've got about two inches clearance. Slide windows? No, it's a wind up window. The green one was an Australian manufacturer. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Last time we've reached it. That's 86. That's 88. That's 92. Is there anything else? AA, Otago. It's got the grill on it. The grill's good. All the lights are good. Chrome work and what have you. Here we go. Okay, 
So I accept you leave. I roll and Okay. It's got the ear cleaner. Another sort of little ear cleaner. Yeah, it sucks in ear from down the bottom here. Seems a bit strange. Let's do that, but little radiator. Uh, and it's bone, bone dry. And let's have a look at the oil. So you check the oil though. Yeah, I'm checking the oil. Hey, the oil, it's full. It's full? There you go. Look at that. It's actually pretty good. It feels all right. Hey, Pete, did you bring a battery? Battery? Yeah. I gave him a pacemaker, mate. Oh, okay. Now yeah, that won't start it. I love it. I reckon this is a great little car. I mean, it's in. Look how good a nick that is. It's obviously got some rust and stuff going on there. It's just surface rust, all I can see right now. White. Um, it's all complete. What have you? So, um, great little find. Leave it down there. And we're going to have a look in the other one and see how that, how that is. This is the second one. <laughs> it must have a. Um, a stay on it, or it's the yeah, adhesive, it but it's, the hinges have been very kind and they're staying up. A bit damper than the last one, the other one's very dry. How much oil we got in this one, Dennis? It's full. If Pete didn't bring a battery, otherwise, we'd be driving away. <laughs> great little, great little hinges too. Very old stickers up here. 85 to 86. Nothing. No rust. Mm -hmm. They all rust out here. Let's have a look. All these seams. No rust out through here. That's all dry. I know it's in a shed, but you're open to the elements this way. Mm -hmm. And there's no rust through there. I can, I can hear people on YouTube screaming at me saying you need to buy this one. There's no rust there. No. Oh, this is a minter. I'll tell you. Nothing through there. I reckon the body on this is pretty good, Dennis. Obviously, the desirability one with the sliding windows. Would be slightly older. And um, just look at the black plates on this one. Love them. Mm. Love them. Absolutely love them. I got a follow on YouTube quite a bit in the States because it's sold cars all over the place. Yeah. And um, what he does, he buys an old car, and the States is so big, he's a mechanic, which is quite handy. Um, he buys an old car five, six, seven, eight hundred miles away, flies down there. With minimal tools, buys it out like this, gets it going, and drives it 800 miles back home. That's a YouTube, and because he breaks down multiple times, it overheats, and everything goes wrong. Got to change this, change the brakes, nothing works, what have you. Of course, you can do that in the states a little bit. Over here, if you drive something like this on the road, <laughs> the cops pull you up. That's it. You're in handcuffs, and they drag you away. But, but, I would that, but, that, but that's a story in itself. I it? would love to do that. Just the fun of driving it and, yeah. and saving something and that sort of thing would be quite yeah. good fun. Oh, it is good fun. That's what I'm supposed to do with that truck. I was going to knock it out in nine months and sell it. I quite liked it so much I kept it. It's, sick. it's got a sexy sound. It's got a sexy sound, it is too. So we haven't got a lot of information about this. The information we've got to get from Dennis. <laughs> But was this just part of the property, Dennis, was it? Or? No, I think it was something that they agreed to look after for someone else, or something or other. And you've got lots of old relics around here, Dennis. Suicide doors. And they knew how to build the yards and what have you. I don't know if we can help with this. Probably. A pine needle, so protecting the the metal work a bit. If something jumps out at me like a like a possum or something. <laughs> there we go. 
There's definitely, I'm in the mood now. And it does still hinge up, which is incredible. And boy, oh boy, we've got a, a uh, six cylinder. Six cylinder, I can't tell you what sort of, um, what size engine this is, other than it being a six. Anything on that, on the windows really? No. You know, I sort of feel like a bit of an archaeologist, pulling all the stuff off here. It's surprising what you can find. And no doubt this has been sitting here for many years, Dennis. It's had a paint job. <laughs> because it used to be blue. Well, it's got a blue dash anyway. Oh, look, he almost had aftermarket gauges down there. It's got the Just holder. Oh, down there, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think someone, someone's had it hotted up. This, this, this has been hotted up. <laughs> Um, quite surprising what you find under tall trees and of course as we can see is the shed but also uh, it's, it's been the afternoon out here with uh, Dennis having a look at its uh, couple of minis and a voxel and uh, a shed that's on a bit of a lean. <laughs> so um, we're most grateful to uh, get this chance today to uh, um, have a couple of three or three Thank you. Yeah, I'm pretty dusty. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs>